YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. Look at this amazing F86. You may have noticed some delicious, delectable air brakes. Look at those things. I'm just gonna close those for you and then open them back up along with some beautiful flaps. Amazing retracts, all new from FMS. Look at this nose gear, but don't look too close so you can see it all. Absolutely fantastic. Spring-loaded, delayed closure, and smooth as butter. You drop these drop tanks, you're gonna be in good shape. But guys, all I got to say is I can't wait to see this fly, so we're gonna get in the air. This thing flies on 5,000, in our case, pushing through an 80 millimeter EDF. This thing is gonna be sweet. This is our true maiden flight, guys. So check it out right now. Throttle cuts off, take off flaps deployed, here we go. 50% throttle, 60. Oh yes, out of the gear, out of the flaps. A little bit more on the gains. Oh yeah. It is very turbulent up there. That's about 75% stick input there. Need a little bit more gain. Let me get out of the throttle. 80 millimeter EDFs tend to perform very good. Man, this thing flies good. No flaps here. Hard on the throttle and up and over. We're gonna try to, oh, that red light on the back. It's so good to see. Day bright LEDs on the wing tips. Oh yeah, that thing is fast right now. Of course, that is gonna be symptomatic of crazy wind. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, we're gonna try going through this hole here. Okay, so just so you guys know, takeoff flaps are coming down. Oh yeah, no correction issues. Okay, now full landing flaps. I'm gonna stay 50% throttle here. Oh my goodness. Okay, out of the flaps into the hard throttle. Little bit of little bit of yutter there. Yes, that's right. I said that on purpose wrong. <laughs> Thank God for those stripes in the sky. Trying to keep in the correct airspace here. Nice dark blue sky for you, so you don't have any focus issues at all. No, not a Hilarious, no guys. Way. Just a funny joke. I'm just gonna glide it back. Okay, about 10% throttle. Take off flaps, landing flaps. Let's do a gear pass. Dirty, hard on the throttle, through the turbulence of the trees. That's our FS, FMS killing zone now, I should call it. Oh, look how good that looks. Oh yeah! Out of the flaps, out of the gear. I wanna sequence the gear as we're going by. We're 41 seconds away, so we're probably gonna get one more circuit, take off flaps. Now let's do, let's do, let's do some brakes. Oh yeah, the brakes are out. Holy cow, that thing slows down with takeoff flaps. Actuating them closed, actuating them open. That is so nice. It really slows it down beautifully. No warnings yet from the telemetry. We have it set to 3.4 volts. Okay, we're gonna go into, uh, that's our timer. We're gonna, Take off flaps, landing flaps, gear. Do you guys see the gear coming down? They are slow. Let's stay hard in the throttle. Whoa, had a little bounce out of the gear, out of the flaps. Lots of drag induced from those brakes, guys. I did speed up my closure rate and I increased I slowed down the speed of my deployment. Very windy day, challenging landings here, guys, so bear with me. Okay, full brakes, full flaps. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can stick it down there. There it is. Guys, wow. we're down. We're gonna roll past, even with full brakes. Close the brakes, close the flaps, and there you have it, throttle cuts on. Let's go into the shade so you guys can see something. I wanna show you my voltage right now so you can see how we did on 5006S. Okay, so we're about a minute past. 
22.7, so we have tons of juice left. So, I mean, you could easily go longer than three minutes. You can go three and a half. And what I wanna do is I wanna click and I wanna go down to telemetry. And I'm gonna show you, this is the only thing we didn't do in the unbox. Go to volts and you can set a voice alarm. It says 7S, but that's, that's not correct because I wanted it to go off at 20.4. Okay, this is inhibited because I don't care about max voltage. I'm trying to hold that so it doesn't glare. Just, there you go. And then this status report, we have warning reports every 15 seconds. So we didn't even get to the warning reports. And to be frank with you, this plane is awesome, but the conditions are not. So let's talk about one other thing. I noticed a lot of oscillation. Let's see if I can get closer. Is that better? Yes. So what I want to do now is I want to see if I can even go into forward programming. I'm so far from the plane, I don't know if it's going to work. Gyro settings, AS3X settings. Uh, fixed adjustable, capture gyro gains. Where do I do that? There, nope. Nope. I'm trying to remember where it is, folks. I'm sorry. There it is. I'm looking for roll. I need more roll. And the pitch was good and the yaw was good, so I don't have any problems there. So if I go to 50, then that's also going to be contingent on the master gain setting as well okay so if we really look at how this flight went first of all got down to the ground didn't have a nasty bounce i feel like you're going to be able to just draw that thing down and have amazing touchdowns but boy what a great flying plane i want to see it fly at least one more so we're going to reset and come right back all right guys so we're just going to put this in right here so you can see how it works this is a good field install battery and so there's a release right here. Looks super nice. I might still add a piece of tape just so I don't end up damaging the edges here. And by the way, if you didn't already see this, look at the beauty of that thing. So gorgeous. I mean, just, they did. And even behind the air brakes, folks, look at the air brakes. Look behind the air brakes. Absolutely gorgeous, okay? Now, also pay attention to where the battery is. That thing is pretty much centered on the straps for a 5006S. We used an AR8360T, worked out really good so far. I just, like I said, I increased my gains on just the roll access from 40 to 50. I hope that helps to keep, but you have to admit we have some choppy, nasty winds right now. I'm gonna go ahead and, sh oh, I can't shut off my brakes now because I forgot. <laughs> So guys, the thing I like so much about this plane is just how beautiful it is. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think I am gonna drop the drop tanks for this flight too. So camera crew is gonna grab that. We had plenty of juice. I'm gonna respect my timer today. And the reason I'm respecting my timer is every time that I don't with a beautiful FMS jet, I always seem to regret it. Look at those amazing drop tanks, even decals on them. And by the way, there's about 200 more decals that have every single conceivable label and tax filing instruction that you could put on this plane. Okay, so we're gonna do 100C this time. That one we just flew was a Gen 2 and a 50C. Both of them have seen better days. But I'm gonna tell you this, you need to get that extra weight to get your CG up here unless you have a super heavy 4S. Our four S's can't go all the way to the front because of the way this closure is right here. And you mean 4,000, not four Yeah, S. yeah, no, I'm sorry, not four Still S, 4,006 S. Yes. Guys, I am sorry, thank you, camera crew, for catching that. Yeah. I appreciate it. And by the way, uh, we really appreciate you guys. We're filming this on Thanksgiving. We've had less than 24 hours to deliver this video. And you guys probably don't realize that when we do these videos, you probably just assume it's like, hey, get together and it's all fun and games. Uh, we were building this until about 2 a.m. And that uh, was an easy build. Uh, went together very easy, but then of course a complex setup where we've got extra channels and things like this definitely adds to the stress and strain. But let's see how this goes. Beautiful. Now, I got to also point out the fact this thing comes out of the box with the fuselage split. And so if you're curious how it goes together, watch the unbox build radio setup and we'll go through all the details so you can see exactly how that goes. It's not a hard build. Uh, but you definitely want to be considering an eight channel receiver on this if you want to split out your brakes. Now, you probably don't need to split out your brakes. It does come on a Y cable that's uh, supposed to be shared with the flaps. But I don't know how you would do your takeoff flaps. Those things would come out a little bit. But I also have a mix where they come out on my full landing flaps, okay? 
So that's pretty cool. And I can shut that off with the flip of a switch, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that. The mixing right now. Um, yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. It's okay. So this one, all I have to do is I have to go and we'll show you how to make it. And I just shut that off and then watch. That works, full landing flaps, and then that works separately, okay? So then you can deploy just a little bit, which is pretty cool. So the other thing is when you undeploy that, okay, I can still operate them or they automatically deploy with flaps, okay? So if that makes sense, folks, I hope it does. So in this case, I'll probably leave it the way it is because to be honest with you, the thing slowed down really nice, but it would be kind of curious to see how it performs without the air brakes. And I think that's probably gonna be saved for another day because yes, we are gonna review the other color scheme very soon, but we gotta get it built and we were just up against the wire so we couldn't do both today. So guys, stay tuned. We're gonna get reset and come right back. All right, takeoff flaps deployed. Here we go, guys. Beautiful. Whoa, boy, that was kind of crazy. Did you guys see how much I got janked? That was crazy. It does feel a little bit more locked in on the Roll axis. Nice stall turn here for you. Take off flaps out of the, out of that move. That's full roll right there, folks. Gosh, it sounds so dang good. I really want to try to get a high speed pass. Are you good? Yeah. It's not going to be a very high speed pass this way, folks, just so you know. That's full throttle. Out of the throttle, giving the battery a break. She is getting kicked around today because it's so crazy windy. Oh, that looks so sweet, guys. It is a big plane, guys. I mean, it's not small like the other F-86s I've flown, but it definitely flies well. It's pretty easy, agile. Almost too agile, but that's okay. Camera crew is gonna be where she is. I'm gonna try for a touch and went if I can get it. Okay. Okay, so I got takeoff flaps. I really want you guys to see the gears deploy. So I'm gonna go ahead and come in here, just kinda gear coming down. Oh, that is so sweet. Gear going up. Hopefully you got to see all that. World's best camera crew. I'm sure she didn't miss it. You about four steps toward the driveway. I mean, sorry, toward the mailbox. There you go, perfect. All right, so guys, we're gonna try a slow speed pass this time. Okay, we're about 50% throttle. Just trying to stay locked in. We do have safe. Here's safe. Gear. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay, so safe definitely limits your bank angles and everything. But at this point, it's nice to know that it works because that was better than expected. Gear going back up. Okay. So I wanted to try touch and go, but I didn't do a very good job of it, did I? No, that was Take off flaps, gear. High. Oh, wait. Watch yourself, hon. Yep. Just be ready. There it is. Go around. Gotta keep her level so I can fly it. Camera crew, we got plenty of time. Don't freak out. We're gonna be good. It's just my line is just out of alignment with the wind. Mm -hmm. And so what's happening, you guys can see it's really struggling to keep up. The stabilizer is. So we're gonna go gear. Coming out now. Just take off flaps now. I gotta keep my airspeed up so I can keep control over the turbulence. Okay, full landing flaps now, which puts out the brakes. There it is, guys. Oh, nice. You see it getting tipped? Oh, yeah. It's just it's just getting pushed up, guys, out of the flaps. It's so windy. Oh my goodness, throttle cuts on. So there you have it, guys. 22.7 volts again, and we are at exactly 45 seconds past. Now, if the wind wasn't so aggressive, 
this thing would show even better and I cannot wait to get you guys some footage because that means I get to fly it in some more calm conditions. Now, that being said, it did kind of handle her own. However, look how much my, my gain is up. My gain is up here, okay? Mm -hmm. So just to be clear, when my gains are up high like that, that means sometimes we gotta go up to two X from one X. We do four X for testing so we can see the control surfaces. And if you've ever watched our Unbox Build radio setup, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So just keep in mind, guys, when it's crazy windy and you've got turbulence like this, that flag gives you a good idea of where it's coming. It's coming almost straight at us like this. So you see our shadows? Our shadows are in line. Our shadows are in line with the wind. So it's not coming straight at the, at the landing strip. And that's why it was favoring toward us as I came in. And so I was having to crab. Well, the trouble is every time I would go to correct a crab, it would try to flip the plane up. And you saw that on my second takeoff where I spooled up and everything was fine and hunky-dory. And then I got in this weird ground effect turbulation from over here and it just pushed it over. Yep. Um, not anything, and I was just about to say, literally when that happened, oh, those inboard landing gear are gonna be terrible. It's gonna wanna tip yeah. like an F-16. Mm -hmm. But no, it just sits on the ground fine. The only reason that happened is because of dihedral. Okay, it's got a low dihedral on the main wing. Well, it's sort of straight. And then there's a real high dihedral on the, on the uh, horizontal stabilizer. And we're probably like 15 gusting into the mid 20s for oh, wind. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. But what a sweet plane. And look at those lights, guys, right from here. Yep. We're day bright, the sun is shining directly at oh, it. Yeah. And you can see all the surfaces working. Hold on, I'm gonna shoot my brakes open. I accidentally just flipped my gear. I better double check that when we get up there. That was dumb. Um, and by the way, having a third switch involved to open brakes, it's pretty cool, but I didn't even hardly get to show it because all my passes are straight into the wind today, which means that I wasn't needing to slow it down in air because it was already getting slowed down quite a bit. So the high speed passes didn't look as good and the low speed passes didn't look as good because I had to keep enough speed to keep it controllable. So also, if you guys have never seen the F-86 in real life or not in real life so much, but just any of these planes, these things are absolutely amazing. Look at how good these landing gear work. Absolutely beautiful, locked, guys, locked. And then same thing here, spring-loaded, a little bit too stiff for my taste. I would like to see soft, spongy tires, and then look, a grass blade attacked my airplane. Get out of here, grass. But I gotta say, absolutely phenomenal job by FMS. What a sweet plane. And you're probably thinking this thing is super heavy and clunky. It's not, it's actually light. It's light on its feet. It flies well. And the 80 million or the 80 millimeter does great with this platform. I would love to stretch this further, but given the wind conditions, I don't want to get in here on final dead stick and have it hit those trees. Um, and so that, again, you got to fly your field, you got to fly your environment. And that's what we do on Brian Phillips RC because this is where we fly. So that being said, guys, we really appreciate you watching these videos. If you want to help support us, by the way, look at that mouth. Oh yeah, straight through. That is something we don't see very often on EDF jets. That's also why your battery size is going to be limited in here. Okay. Now, that being said, there is a lot of room in this battery tray, but there's not a lot of height. Okay. So if you got a battery that's that short, that's wider, I might even be able to fit a, a 7,000 in there. But I'm gonna just tell you this right now. I would like to see how it does with a lighter battery, but not on a day like today. No. It's just too windy. It's just wanting to oscillate like crazy because every time the stabilizer gets its feet under it, it gets whipped by some new giant gust. Yeah. Also, I gotta say, it looks the part in the air. And yes, I like the way it looks with the drop tanks, but I kind of like it better without, did you? I I didn't even pay attention. We took it's them off. so weird because I didn't notice a big difference either, but I'm going to tell you this. I think I'm going to probably fly this without the drop tanks, even though they're really cool. And by the way, you can deploy your flaps further if you don't have drop tanks. Okay. Cause you will hit the drop tanks if you run the standard FMS 125% mm -hmm. uh, with regard to spectrum throws. Okay. So we'll go over that in the unbox build radio setup. And seriously, this build was easy but then the radio setup took a little extra because of the braking mechanism. But it was actually not that bad. No, it Way, wasn't. way easier than a lot of planes. Yeah. Oh, and then this ventral fin, it does pop off. So if you're carrying this in the car, wings quick release, mm -hmm. meaning uh, one, two, and three screws. This has a serial 
DB9 connector on it and it will come straight off. So I would recommend closing your gear so that this pushes down and then when you undo it, the other side will hold it down. So you can get it in your car like with half the wing and just put the wing over here with the other side. Super easy to do. I would not take off the tail feathers, however, that's kind of a complicated thing. But here's the catch. If you wanted to take off your tail feathers and make it real small, you could undo the screws and I think you can take just the tail section out, but you'd have three wires going here, or excuse me, two wires. You could then extend them here and you could pull out a length so that it just lays sideways. So this thing will store and transport very easily and in small environments. Now grass ops, to be, it, to be completely frank, I'm doing top dressing on my yard right now. So I can't tell you. And the reason we're doing top dressing is because back here, we're digging a pond. You can see this giant pile of dirt. And then over here, there's a bulldozer and you guys have already seen some of the updates. So I'm not gonna be mowing the issue. Uh, because you know it's a holiday week and so he's not working right now uh, but I have been stealing some top dressing to go ahead and try to resolve some of the bumpiness out here and then probably when I'm done maybe I'll get a roller rented or something so I can roll that and make it smooth then we can show whether these things are going to work well and I'm going to tell you this right now these brakes are nice but I don't think that rollout's bad if I could no. see my cherry tree I could land it right in the middle yeah. which by the way we are moving that cherry tree, if you guys didn't know. That's gonna be part of our pond project as we're gonna put it over there. And it's gonna be gorgeous. But the thing is, having a straight line and a straight shot is somewhat even more gorgeous. So, just saying. All right, guys, that's all you get for today. Beautiful F86 Sabre. Look at the different livery on there because you're gonna see the other ones are red, white, and blue. This one's, of course, the yellow, and I love the way the yellow looks. It's one of my favorite liveries on this type of plane. The decal color match is near perfect, guys. Look at the little connectors between the UASF mm -hmm. and then the yellow. It's like near perfect, okay? We saw only a couple super small blemishes, not the least of which is this one right there, which we could touch up. But I'm telling you, this thing came out of the box and I thought they had spilled something in my canopy. And then I started looking and I'm like, whoa, they aged it and weathered it. Yeah. That is so dang cool. So guys, FMS, great job. If you wanna help support Brian Phillips RC, look no further than the links in the video description below. If they aren't there, go to brianphillipsrc.com. Quick update on the YouTube harassment. They have reinstated some of our links, but literally, what, 10 minutes before they reinstated the links, they blocked another one. And then they blocked another one a couple minutes later. So it's just like, we, we don't know. I mean, YouTube doesn't have it figured out. They have a technical glitch. They won't ever admit it. And when that technical glitch gets fixed, then everything's gonna be hunky-dory. But guys, we appreciate the outpouring of support, especially you new Patreons that have jumped in and helped to support us a little bit. It does help, but just keep in mind, guys, this whole thing we do, it's a giant volume thing, okay? Even though we love each of you guys individually that we've got to know over the years, this is a massive worldwide volume thing. That's the way this works. It's the only way it works. Otherwise, we're just a drop in the bucket, guys. Uh, and we know that. And we love doing this stuff, but we're extra thankful for you right now. It's Thanksgiving, and we wanna just say thank you guys for being part of our team, for being part of RC Aviation and other RC, depending on what you guys are watching, and e-bikes, leaf blowers, mm -hmm. banners, obviously, those things. Yeah. So we really appreciate you guys. Uh, we, would, we wouldn't be able to do it without your support. And so when you do support us by buying from the links, that does really help to support us financially, and it also boosts our spirits and helps us to know we're doing the right stuff. So that's good. When we work with good companies that make good stuff, it makes life pretty easy for us, even though we had less than 24 hours to deliver this footage, which is insane. Also, Patreon, PayPal, friends and family, remember? YouTube Super Thanks and YouTube members are all appreciated. Special thanks to our YouTube members. If you're supporting us, we appreciate you guys. Thank you for doing it. If you want the one-stop shop on YouTube, we get it, but just so you know, fee structure is the highest on YouTube. And then about half of that, or a little bit more than half on Patreon, depending on what country you're in. So also we don't list the benefit of communication with Brian Phillips um, on Patreon, because otherwise we'd have to charge a VAT. And it just kind of works out that way. So it's not a committed resource or benefit. benefit. What do they call it? They it's call, not a benefit. They call yeah. it a benefit on Patreon. So yeah. we have to follow the stupid rules that they've got over there. And so if you notice that I happen to reply to your comments a little quicker, it might just work Sorry. out that way. 
just happens. Yeah, exactly. And for the rest of you that are making comments, it's just on the normal YouTube platform. We do our best to try to keep up, um, but it's just literally Especially impossible. If you have a question, we, you know, it's we hard. Read a lot of them, but if you have a question, yeah. Trying, it, we, them. Yeah, and if you guys have gone gone through the comments, some of those questions take seven, eight paragraphs to answer. If it takes five minutes and you got 50,000 of those in a year, that is a lot of minutes, guys. So I really care about you. I want you to have the best experience. And then when stuff goes wrong with this, we'll try our best to help you. But it's like, there's only so much we can do, especially with limited information. If you're a brand new pilot, we're here to help you. But remember the way we do that is we make unbox, build, radio setup videos. And then we do flights. And what you can do is go back and watch that and rewatch that. And I guarantee you will pick up most of what you need so if you're watching and you're new to the channel, we really appreciate you being here with us. Some of our viewers have been with us almost nine years. So we, we really appreciate you guys. Couldn't do it without you. So stay tuned. So much more coming from Brian Phillips RC. Thanks for watching.